Hello and welcome back, I'm Bebo Joe and this is Construction Simulator. Today I have no idea what we're gonna do, but there are a couple of jobs out there. Under contracts, road or park, road or park. Construction stage is five. I think I know what I'm gonna do. No reason to keep you guessing. I wanna do more, so we're gonna use this one. And this is what I mean down there. It tells you there are different job scopes. And sometimes I tell you there's a little more and sometimes I tell you nothing. So I guess I'll pick the lowest one because it doesn't seem to matter. And that's what we're gonna do. Rent construction machine, machine flatten. Okay, accept contract. I wanna see what we're gonna do because I'm pretty sure these machines we haven't done anything with. So, oh, what's this? Active jobs, materials, sapling, cool. Location, city forest. Okay, cool. Hoppy, what are we doing? Um, flatten, rent a dozer. Yes, don't mind if I do. And I will actually, this is why I kept the lorry actually. I will actually try to move the vehicles the way that I have to be moved. Let's get the ramp down. I have heard that there are some issues getting some equipment onto the loader or the low loaders. So we'll see how this goes, but rent a dozer for flattening. Yes, excited for dozer. Gold Rush is one of my favorite shows, one of the only shows I watch on TV. Um, judge me as you will. But uh, the dozers on that show look really fun. I want to drive them. Actually, um, I did get to drive a dozer once um, on a farm, though. So it was a little weird. We have the um, PR736 or the D8 dozer. They both have the same price. And what is this? This just looks cute. <laughs> so we're going to do the D8. Um, can't afford it, so I'm gonna rent it. There you go, thank you. Operation was confirmed. Let's put in a city park for 100,000 credits. That sounds amazing. Oh, and this lets me show you something else. You will think that I'm too stupid to drive this thing. It is actually not simple to drive these, and I love it. Uh, let's go a little further away. Because, oh, oh, look at that, it has the, and it has the hand animation actually. So you control each track individually. The tutorial would be great if it could just be turned off. Click, click, click somewhere here? No. Some construction machines are not road where we should be transported construction vehicle would be a fast travel to the map. I don't want to fast travel. Oh, I, I, I love it. This, all of this is great. But no, you have to move each track individually. So I'm holding the right trigger now. Only the right track moves, not the left trigger. And to go backwards, you have to use the left and right buttons. But it's pretty cool because the turning is very different than from what you're used to, which I really appreciate. Let's see how this looks on the inside. I can barely see anything, and I think I turned the mirrors off because my GPU was being overloaded, so I guess we can't drive in there. But here we go. Yeah, I, it does look stupid, but it's okay. I'm actually using the left joystick too to turn, and that's completely useless because reasons. Turn this around. It's not even willing to go forward right now. Nope. All right. You convinced me, game. I'm gonna go drive via the road <laughs> because it's ridiculous. It's only 200 meters away. It's fine. I hope nobody gets in my way, though. That'd be silly. Going at a whopping 12 kilometers per hour. Beautiful. No, the, the road really likes when a bulldozer drives on top of it. That's actually ideal. I, I tried uh, fast travel and that was a little nicer than the other option. You can find all the information. Cool, I, I just had that open. Tutorial, go away. All right, so now we have to flatten this. <laughs> This thing is hard to move. 
And the controls are just so unintuitive for like any vehicle movement. I'm not saying they're wrong or they're like they're bad. They're just I'm not used to do it this way. Do you think I can drag this? Let's see. Put it on the ground. It is on the ground. Nope. Camera. You're on the ground and then just go backwards. I don't think that counts. Oh, that's unfortunate. All right, we'll do it the right way. Uh, move the blade a little bit like that. Still down, very good. Camera a little bit in this direction and then go. You have those yellow um, lines on the ground that are supposed to help you figure out where you're supposed to push something to. So far, they've been more confusing to me than anything else, but maybe I'm just stupid. Here's something. You have like a little overlay thingy that will show you where things are good and bad. It looks like everything back there is a little deep. And there's a, a little dip right there. Well, it's still gonna take a while. <laughs> All right, I think I figured it out. I was a little too worried about exactness. It looks like as long as I go over everything with the same blade, um, like blade setting, it seems to count something. I'm not 100% sure if that's right, but percentage is going up and there's not that much left. And I think at some point it will just accept that it's done. So I think we have one more pass to do and then we're good. It's, I don't know, it's, it's fine that the game makes it not super easy, that everything's just done after you do a tiny little thing. It would be nice if it tells me a little better where the problem areas are, because like right now you can see the percentage is not really going up, and I can't really tell. It looks like a little to the left, okay. Um, as long as this is accurate and it counts it, and it's all relative to each other, so the area just has to be flat, but it doesn't have to be like five inches above nothing, then it may be just fine. So let's see if I'm aligned here with the problem area. Looks like a little to the right. Oh, it actually did level it while it was going backwards, so that was, that's actually really nice. All right, count it. <laughs> cool. Again, I'm not I'm not terribly concerned about a game that makes it more complicated. That's that's totally fine. I want I want to build this with as little hand holding as possible. Now that we're finally out of the tutorial, it feels like we're getting that, and that is great. Well, yeah, it might as well get a saw compactor. <laughs> okay. Uh, advanced, cool. Let's see, do I... I'm gonna leave this here because honestly I don't know if I need something like this again. So it's park it. Well, not, not something like this, but if I need this thing again as it is. So, it, it would be nice if it had fit on my low boy. Low, low loader? Low something? But it didn't, so. Let's see, can I... Enter this. Yes, I can. I need a saw compactor just like that, but sort by type, not by manufacturer, because that's ridiculous. Saw compactor, we have very standard or very standard, and then very standard. I want this guy. Uh, rent, please. Yes. Okay. 
Now, can I jump into that vehicle? Hold on. If I go look at my company vehicle fleet, I would like to enter this guy. Okay, that, that makes it a little easier. Oh, it is fast travel. <laughs> what are the odds that this guy can actually fit onto, onto the loader? I don't know. Yes, we we got all the lights. That's important. <laughs> it's so heavy. <laughs> it's so heavy yet so slow. Ah. Okay, you. I think we we should be able to get you out uh, on here because we don't have weird tracks, and it's a lot easier to steer the th uh, this thing. So that's that's a big plus. Okay. I don't know if I have to strap you down. Can I do anything? I don't have any control over anything here. Oh, it would be so nice if there were actual vehicle control uh, controls out here where I can do things. So if I have to go to this, then uh, bring the ramp in. Okay, that's fine. Um, bring that one on and then it's fine. Maybe I could have done the same thing with the... Um, What's it called? With the with the dozer that it was kind of on, and then the game would have just put it on for real. But I didn't know that. I didn't know that. Let's put a GPS on this village quick. I just want to put a marker that's not very far away, but it's far enough away. That's all. I do realize it's night, but nighttime is the best time to work because people don't want to sleep. What is that? Looks like there was a car there, and then it's not there anymore. <laughs> oh, the game has some funny things. We haven't even seen the really funny, spooky things, I might say. I'm not sure that we're going to see that today, but we're not that far away from it either. Um, back up. Back up. There you go. Okay, camera. The automatic camera is not always smart, but that's okay. All right, Lori, you can get in here. There you go. Then uncouple. Then, oh, that's not what I meant. Couple, yes. Ramp. To release. Did it release it? I don't know if it did. If we get to enter here. Gotta turn all the lights on again. I just want to turn the lights on, please. Alright. Uh, camera view back up. That looks great. Oh, why? <laughs> I don't know why there's gravel over there to compact, but um, the stuff that we just flattened isn't. <laughs> but okay. That's fine. Now, the uh, soil compactor that we have here has a special function, which means the weight that it has is not able to compact everything. Thanks, Colonel. Uh, what you have to do is say, turn on compacting. Why, why is it still disabled? Uh, turn on the stuff. Oh, okay, I hear it. Can you hear it? It's like there's some some type of oscillating action happening that compacts everything a little more. Okay, I, I can live with that. That makes that makes a little more sense. It's like a little hammer or something. Something going on in there. How far is this path? And did we pick a roller that is way too big? Nah. Toys are never too big, they're just never enough of them. Okay, come on. You can do it. What are the odds that we're gonna get all of this done in this episode? Oh, zero. <laughs> there's, there's no way. No way that's gonna work. Um, go over here. There we go. All right. Um, I 
Just like butter. That's great. Oh yeah. Made some money on that one. Enter backhoe loader. I think that is my cue for we're done for the day. So thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you again next time when we finish this park. Have a good one. Bye-bye.